I'd like to talk about making a side menu in iOS. And for the example, I'm going to use the EN Swift side menu. And this is an excellent little class that this person, I don't know them, but they just happened to post this to GitHub, and it's a very nice little con contribution from them. And, you know, you can, you can download this with uh, download.zip in the corner here. And I've already done that. And when you download it, you should get a folder that looks something like this. And in the folder here, there's an example iOS project right here in the example folder. And then there's a library folder that has the two files that make up the side menu. So to get this working, I'm going to start with Xcode and I'll create a brand new project. And I'm gonna choose single view application from iOS applications. And I'll call it side menu video example, how about that? And then I'll save this file. I'm just gonna put it in the same folder here. You can put it anywhere you want. So we'll save it, okay. So now we need to get those two files here, these two Swift files, and copy them into our project. So I'll select these two guys from the library folder, drag them into my project navigator, and I'll choose copy items if needed. And then you can see them here. So there's two files here. There's the EN side menu, and then there's the EN side menu navigation controller. So the way this works is this uh, navigation controller is going to act as a navigate, uh, like a special navigation controller, okay? Kind of a special version of the navigation controller. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to storyboard here first. And this is our default view controller. And this default view controller, we're going to use this as one of the views that can be displayed from the side menu. Um, that's going to be a little while, so we got to get the side menu set up, but this is going to be one of the views. But in order to get started here, I'm going to shrink that a little bit so I have some more space. <clears throat> but in order to get started, I'm going to need a navigation controller. So my first step here is I'm going to add, um, I'm just going to add a navigation controller by embedding this in the navigation controller. So I'll select it and choose editor embed in navigation controller. And let me rearrange these a little bit so I can see them a little better. And there we go. So now I've got my navigation controller. And what I want to do is I want to make a class to handle this navigation controller. And then I want to subclass the you know EN side menu navigation controller. So I'll do Command N and choose iOS source. Coco Touch class. I'll click next and I'll call this, um, I don't know, let's see, uh, how about side navigation controller. Okay, and then we're going to subclass of UI navigation controller, right? So I'll make sure that says UI navigation. We're actually going to change that in the end, but. Uh, We'll choose side navigation, we'll set it to side navigation controller. And then I'll save it to my folder here. And what I want to do is when we go in here, I'm going to change the subclass to EN side menu navigation controller. And there we go. So we can save that. And what I'll need to do is I'll need to make sure that this class is the the class for this navigation controller here. So I'm going to switch to storyboard, click on the navigation controller so I can see, you know, the, the blue outline here, and then I'll click on the identity inspector, and under custom class here, I'll choose side navigation controller. Okay, so I'll just start typing it, and Xcode will fill in the rest. And so we'll save that. And then now, let's go into um, into the side navigation file again. Side menu navigation controller here, and let's add a view did load. So we're going to choose. Um, we're going to type here view did load. 
okay? And we'll need access to Storyboard because we're going to generate views from Storyboard via code. So I'm going to type in let Storyboard equal UI Storyboard named and then I'm going to name my storyboard and I'm going to type main here and then the bundle can be nil and the main right here is the name of our storyboard here so if you have a different name on your storyboard you might have to use a different name here okay so now we're set there and so now we need to make a side menu okay so the side menu is going to be the menu that slides out from the left it can slide out from the right too but uh, but we'll have to make the menu and then we're actually going to put the menu in here and attach it to the to the controller so you can make your menu in code if you like I'm gonna make it in um, storyboard here so in storyboard I'm gonna grab the UI um, table view controller and drag it out and I'll put it on this side and put it to the left of my my view controller here and Let's make the size a little smaller there. Okay, so this is going to be the menu. And this is going to slide in from the left here later, okay? So I'm using a UI view controller, but I'm going to just generate the menu in, you know, as, as cells in here, you know, as static cells, okay? So, uh, so let's select this and um, go into the property inspector here. Let me click on let me click on the table view here go to the property inspector and choose um, content is static cells and that'll give me three cells and I'll just use those as my default but you could add as many as you want here and style them however you like um, maybe I'll s click on these three cells and set them to uh, basic you know they'll just be basic storyboard cells right and then you could put in you know any names here you know I'll call this like first view second view third view there we go okay so now that I got my cells there let's do this let's make a view controller file for this file we'll need that so I'm gonna go into you know go to file new and choose you know iOS source Cocoa Touch class and we'll make a brand new UI table view controller and let's call this one um, let's call it um, how about uh, menu table view controller how about that okay so I'll save this and I'll save it to my project and then in storyboard I'm going to select this view controller go to the identity inspector and type menu table view controller and one other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy the name and paste it as the storyboard ID okay so this is going to be key the storyboard ID here allows us to create this item in storyboard through code so this is the identifier that we can use to recreate this element from code okay so uh, so there's our there's our our code there and then we're also gonna go back and edit this table view controller for a moment right because we generated this from the default code that Xcode gives us and the code here includes these two methods number of rows and section and uh, number of row or a number number of sections in table view right and right now you can see they're both set to zero so if we test the code and we showed this table view it would have zero sections and zero rows so let's just delete that because we're doing static cells anyway so we don't need that you can actually delete all this down here um, you know we don't even need any of this I mean you could always add it in later too so so there we go so we'll save that and um, so now let's set this table view as our 
side menu, you know, view, right? So let's go back to the side menu view controller. And what I want to do is I want to say uh, let menu equals storyboard dot instantiate view controller with identifier. Okay. So instantiate view controller with identifier. I know it's a long name there. And what we want to do is we want to put in the identifier name for that view controller, which for us was menu table view controller. Okay. And then we're going to do as menu table view controller on the end here. Let me move that out of the way. So it's going to be let menu equal storyboard dot instantiate view controller with identifier. This is the name, the ID name that we assigned in storyboard to that view, right? The, the UI table view that's going to be the side menu. And then we're just going to cast it as that same class, okay? So now that we got that, now we're going to create a side menu. So we're going to say side menu here, right, equals en side menu. Yeah, this first one here, right? And what we want to do is we want to choose this. We want to choose a source UI view menu table view controller. So this is where we're going to set this um, table view as the side menu view in the EN side menu navigation controller, right? So, uh, so we're going to choose this option here, the second one. And then uh, for the first view, we're going to say self.view as the source view. And then as the menu table view controller, we're going to set this to, uh, to menu, right? Because that's the view we created here. And we're going to use that as the menu view. And then under menu position, we, we're going to use one of the built-in um, position options here on this, this EN side menu position, enum. And you can see it gives you the option of like left or right, essentially. So I'll put this menu on the left. Okay, great. So now we're going to set this, the width of the menu, like how far does it slide in. So we'll say side menu dot... Um, menu width equals, you know, 180. That was used in the example, but this, I suppose this could be any size. And then we're going to say view dot bring sub menu or sub view to front. Okay. And then say navigation bar. And I guess if we, you know, if we add this other view, it ends up on top of the navigation bar. So we want to bring the navigation bar to the front again. And there we go. Let's uh, let's give that a let's give that a test, right? So I'm going to hit play here or you know the play button. And there's my project. Oh, and there's my view. And you'll notice here there's a couple things that happen. So we don't have a button yet or any way to display the menu, but we can add that later. And right now, if you swipe to the right, the menu will show up. And if you swipe to the left, it doesn't go away, but if you swipe on the menu, it will go away. Okay, so that's kind of how this one works. And we can add a button to hide and show it and kind of set these options, but that's the, what it's going to do right now. You'll also notice that the menu view is hidden underneath here, and that's because the table view um, has a, you know, it doesn't recognize the menu bar up here, so we need to give it a, an, an inset, right, that'll push it down, okay? But, but anyway, there's our, there's our table view, and we can click on these things, and we can tell these to load other views, too. Currently, the view here is the default um, view controller. So let's actually uh, go check that, right? So I'm going to go to Storyboard. And then this is our current default view. So let's put something in there to mark that so we know when we're viewing that view. I'm going to drag this label out here and call this uh, view controller. 
right? You can call it V1 or something, right? But I'll put that in there. And now when I test, we should be seeing that label, right? So now we know that that's the default view, okay? So let's do one more thing. And then what I wanna do is I wanna go into the menu table view controller, Swift file. And you know, you should be able to set the menu insets in Storyboard, but you can't. And I think you could do this in the earlier version of Xcode and somehow those options were lost in this version and they don't exist here. They may come back. So um, so instead of being able to set them there, we're going to actually do it in code. So inside the menu table view controller, I'm going to uh, you know delete this comment here in view did load. And then in view did load, we're going to say table view dot, um, what is it? Uh, content inset. Okay, so table view dot content inset um, equals uh, UI edge insets make, right? And then this is going to allow us to make an inset. And we can say, like, you know, how far the table view gets pushed in, right? You know, what are the margins, essentially? So the top margin is really what we're concerned with. So why don't we try 64 pixels here? And then we can do zero on all the other four dimensions. And so we'll save that and uh, test again. Now when we swipe, oh look, there our table view looks pretty good. Okay, so let's stop there for now and then I'll do another video where I add the rest of the um, the views and switch between views, okay?